No, oh my God. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, here, the camera. Oh! Oh, It's really heavy. Like, camera. Jesus, this camera's ridiculous. Phase 1 XF. I've heard of phase 1. I don't know anything about cameras, but this looks super fancy. This thing is such a boss. Can I take a picture? I like this lavender shoe. Listen to that action on the camera. I actually don't like it, but it's a good... I would never wear something like that. Sounds like a desert eagle of a camera. Feels like something. Ow. What? What? You can, I can count the threads, the individual fibers of the shoelace. Holy oh, shit. Oh, it's so much detail. Is this normal for all cameras? Ooh, yeah, texture, huh? It's better than my iPhone, so that's always nice. Whose bag is this? Nice bag. I feel really professional. Yeah. It looks like a professional did that, which is understandable. It's just given the context, but uh, you can see every fiber of the wool. These are terrible photos I'm taking right now. It focuses itself. I have to be two feet away. One word? Extravagant. I don't know, 100 megapixels? I have no idea. 150 megapixels? It's just so, it's impossible to, to compete with. You asked me how many megapixels it is and I guessed and it says right on the camera. What do megapixels do? <laughs> oh God. Yeah, I look, I look how I feel about this camera. So if you had to guess, how much this camera costs, what would you say? I don't know, $2,000. 10 grand? 20? 30, what? 52, this is $52,000? $52,000. It's in your hand right now. Wow. <laughs> I should know this because I got the request from Henry to buy one for the office, and I believe that was immediately rejected. Is it worth it? I guess if you make billboards, it probably is. If I had an extra 52000 I would buy it, but I do not. Is that the most expensive selfie you've ever taken? Yeah, I still want to delete it. All jokes aside, that was the Phase 1 IQ4 150. It is an absolute monster of a camera. This thing is going to cost $52,000. You know, the price of like a well-equipped 3 Series or a down payment on a lot of house. It's made to produce incredible images. It's got a ton of features built in around kind of the pro workflow. It talks to computers really well. You can do bracketing, you can do time lapses that are kind of beyond anything else you'll see in a camera. So you got 150 megapixels, huge medium format sensor. In terms of like a normal camera size, this is a full frame Nikon Z7. It's big, it's like expensive, it's like 3,500 bucks and it's awesome. But this is the phase one IQ4 sensor. But generally, the bigger the sensor, the kind of better true to life rendering, the better dynamic range, and you just get access to a lot more real estate for resolution, for bigger pixels, which will give you better low light performance. The downside is that this thing is gonna be slow and it's gonna be huge. It takes about 30 seconds to turn on. The autofocus is not exactly you know, DSLR worthy. So who should buy it and who shouldn't? Just about everybody shouldn't buy it. You know, if you're looking for a camera to like shoot the dog, shoot the kids, don't buy this. But you know, if you're a pro photographer, you're shooting a lot of studio stuff, uh, you're shooting a lot of landscapes, you're shooting things that aren't generally moving around a whole lot. Really anything where you're gonna make your money off of these photos, um, it's hard to go wrong with something like this. All jokes aside, all jokes aside. 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 All jokes aside.